Hi, my name is Matt Martin, and I'd like to introduce my colleague, Tan Lan Go, who's going to do the second portion of the presentation. We're both from uh, Central Connecticut State University. Um, you can see the title of our presentation, which is Sports Participation on Stress for Parents um, uh, for Children with Disabilities. And we know that parenting, parenting a child with a disability is, is challenging, or we can assume that. Um, and it can become overwhelming because of the day-to-day -day responsibilities of, of, of the caretaking for the child with the disability and if there are other children in the household. And parents report that they often feel overwhelmed, um, and research suggests that they, you know, feelings like frustration, um, helplessness, being exhausted, are common things that parents report um, and unfortunately overall that can impact their overall uh, psychosocial well-being. Um, when we look at um, some of the research, uh, stress and coping are two measures that many re some researchers have looked at and what over, overall what they found is that parents who have children with disabilities um, have higher levels of stress and they have difficulty coping um, with the challenges of parent parenting compared to parents who have children without uh, disabilities. And unfortunately, it's also common for these parents to have higher depression rates and anxiety. Um, and in our study, we also we looked at stress and coping um, and then looked at res respite services as a way to get a short break um, from the day-to-day -day responsibilities of parenting and look at that research. And you might be familiar, uh, there's formal type of respite. Um, that would be um, if a health care provider provides, say, a support group class or if you use other nonprofits to get respite or, or short break from parenting duties. Informal would be if a friend came over to, your, to the parent's house and helped them out for a bit and gave them a break or family members who don't live in the house, um, et cetera. And there's, there's a decent amount of uh, research with children with autism. Um, some of that research was in the 1990s and early 2000s. Um, it may be that there was, uh, that was a common research with this population just because of the nature of the disability. And um, for some individuals, we know there can be self-injurious behavior, you know, obsessive compulsive type behaviors, and other things that we, which can increase stress and, and make it hard to manage and cope. Um, and that was according to Osborne and Reed. Um, <clears throat> what I've also found doing an extensive re review of the literature, it re really depends on the type of respite care that is provided, um, how effective it, it will be related to stress and coping. And unfortunately, many parents report that they just don't have respite services available, formal or informal, to, to help them manage their day-to-day -day -day responsibilities and stress. Um, however, there, are, there is some research that shows positive effects of respite care. For example, Robertson um, completed a study um, and found that the parents reported that because of the respite that was provided, they could um, complete tasks that they normally maybe couldn't get to during the day. And another really positive is they could spend time with their other children, um, which is sometimes limiting. Um, and then Harper looked at um, stress also and marriage quality. And in that research, they found that both um, with respite services provided in the study stress was reduced for many of the participants and marriage quality improved. Um, a little more specific to, uh, I'm a, a PEEP professor, um, and so is my colleague. Um, there's some research on respite care in recreation center settings. And uh, Shelton and his colleague or her colleague um, studied the effects of a three-day summer camp on the effectiveness of respite care for parents. And the positive results were that when, when they were talking about their work experiences, their home, family life, and daily stressors, the three-day respite um, had a positive effect 
on those areas of their life, their, their different stressors. In another study um, by Sung and Park, um, they did a family support program which included a rec recreation component um, providing counseling and social support services um, for the study participants. Um, and the measures were stress and family and quality of life, or family quality of life. And just quickly, the recreation program wasn't, wasn't really anything structured. They just gave them a list of things that they possibly could do during their respite time. And in this particular study, um, the results showed that there was an improved quality of life for the parents and the family um, dynamics, but there was no differences in stress um, for those who got the respite services compared to the control group. <clears throat> the purpose of our study, we did a qualitative analysis to look at the impact of children with disabilities participating in sport, adapted sport classes, and the measures we looked at were stress and coping. We had 13 parents, um, eight mothers and five fathers participate in our study. Um, the, the adaptive sports classes, there was two blocks of sessions. There were six week sessions and then eight week session. Um, and you can see the different um, sports, adapted basketball, lacrosse, a tumbling, and then they had an adapted PE class where it was just a variety of things. Um, the children who had the disabilities, there was a variety of different disabilities or conditions. Some were on the spectrum, some had cerebral palsy, and um, there were other conditions as well. Um, it was a great collabora collaboration. The Miracle League of Connecticut, they administered and advertised the program. And then Oak Hill Schools has an adaptive sport and fitness center. So they provided the instructors and the instructors in the curriculum. So we did focus group interviews. Um, there was three or four participants in each um, group. Um, there were 20 to 30 minutes in length. Um, both the focus group interviews were after the six week session of classes and then the eight week session. Um, we wanted even more participants, but some, the challenge was that some of the children, um, while they were participating in the sport classes, um, had some meltdowns and things, so the parent had to attend to their child. And some parents were interested in our study, but really wanted to play with their children in the class. So they, they didn't decide not to work with us. Um, and finally, um, before we switch off to my colleague, um, we used a grounded theory research design to collect data and come up with categories and themes. The focus group discussions were digitally recorded and transcribed verbatim. All the data were inductively analyzed for themes. The first theme that emerged from the study was social connections. Many participants felt that having respite time with the other parents provided social support and a sense of community. For instance, one participant shared, we all have our moments that we all share with each other. Another participant said, I like coming here. Everyone's friendly and supportive and there's zero expectations. The second theme was community for kids. The parents felt that their children had opportunities to make new friends, participate in developmentally appropriate activities. One participant mentioned, it was kids club is what they did. He had more of his friends than before. The third and final theme was self-empowerment. The parents felt that their children were self-empowered by being able to participate independently and make choices about how to play during the sport classes. A participant shared, You want them to make those valuable connections in all of the ways so that they feel empowered and that they feel that they are who they are. It's great for them to go and meet all of these other kids who are just like them. In discussion, having time to communicate with other parents while their children were participating in the sport classes provided the participants with emotional support and a chance to share stories and resources. The participants also felt that observing their children having success and play independently during the sport classes reduced their stress levels. 
The participants also indicated that their children were happier as a result of their participation in the sport classes. Depending on the severity of the child's disability, some participants felt that they had to help the children during the sport classes, thereby did not receive much of a respite time. These are the references that are cited in our presentation. Thank you for watching our presentation. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us through our email. Thank you.